Hey, welcome in. So it looks like uh, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler must be a fascist because he's against Antifa now, apparently. Here's the headline from the Daily Wire. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler finally condemns anarchist violence. Well, it's actually more like communist violence, revolutionary communist violence, but okay, whatever. So what did he have to say about this? Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler joined a chorus of officials earlier this week in condemning recent anarchist violence in the city's downtown area and demanded an end to protests and violence that have rocked the city since May of last year. Didn't Chris Cuomo on CNN say that who says that protests have to be peaceful? I guess Ted Wheeler didn't get the message. Anyway, notably, the admission and demands follow an uptick of violence centered around the federal courthouse and nearby Immigration and Customs Enforcement Detention Center. Some of the same buildings targeted last summer when Wheeler and others expressed solidarity with protesters marching downtown. So, Ted Wheeler's had enough, I guess. He's finally gone full fascist, I guess, because, I mean, they're, they're anti-fascist. He must be a fascist, right? Let's see Ted Wheeler's progression here. How did he get to this place? Let's see. Portland mayor stands by decision to allow Antifa to block traffic hassle motorists. This is from October 14th, 2018. Portland mayor Ted Wheeler came under fire over a viral video showing Antifa protesters blocking traffic and harassing drivers. But he says he supports the decision by police to watch from a distance without getting involved. Because all they were doing was uh, blocking traffic and harassing drivers. Why would you want to stop them from doing that? I mean, you know that those uh, drivers, that traffic of those drivers, those are all fascists. Anyway, what did he say? Quote, I was appalled by what I saw in the video, but I support the Portland Police Bureau's decision not to intervene. Quote, the whole incident will be investigated. I guess it never really did, did it? Because they're still going crazy in Portland. And apparently he wasn't actually appalled by what he saw because he did nothing. Let's see, that's 2018. Uh, how about this one? Amid a tense meeting with protesters, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler tear gassed by federal agents. And I guess that must have been fascist because, uh, well, well, let's see what happened here. Just going to interrupt for one second to say, if you like this content, subscribe so you can see more. Thanks a lot. Let's see. Mayor Ted Wheeler choked on tear gas late Wednesday as he stood outside the federal courthouse in downtown Portland, where federal agents set off explosives and fired chemicals into a crowd of hundreds. And that is outrageous. And why would they do that? I mean, all they were doing, according to this article here, <laughs> this video, all they were doing, all they were doing was trying to burn down the courthouse. I mean, look at this peaceful arson going on here. There's just peaceful fires happening, right? Why would they need to stop that? Let's see. Why was Ted Wheeler there? Wheeler had come to the protest, he said, to stand with protesters in the face of what he described as an occupying force. Federal agents who were deployed by President Trump to a city that the president has described as worse than Afghanistan. Is it worse than Afghanistan? Eh, Probably parts, parts of Afghanistan. <laughs> There's probably parts that are better anyway. But in any case, Wheeler had come to the protest, he said, to stand with the protesters. Huh, so he's with them. And Antifa, is that all of these protests? The BLM, Antifa, they're kind of, the protests are all just kind of melded into one now. So, you know, he'd gone to stand and to support them because he wanted to support uh, the peaceful burning of the courthouse, right? Anyway, they didn't like him very much. They still didn't like him because you can never be uh, anti-fascist enough, I think. I think that's the problem. So he had a tense meeting with the protesters. They shouted things at him, and they don't like him. Let's see, where did it go from there? What's next in the progression? Uh, Portland mayor punched by Antifa militants at restaurant. <laughs> the inevitable progression, the inevitable conclusion here. Portland mayor punched by Antifa militants at restaurant. Well, he tried to suck up to them, and, uh, well, it didn't work. Oh, look, he's got a wine bottle on the table there. Typical fascist. So anyway, so now he is uh, he finally condemns the anarchist violence. So they say here it's not clear what prompted the change in messaging from Ted Wheeler, though it does seem that a recent second wave of riots pressed Wheeler and others forward, especially given it's clear now that Portland's demonstrations did not come to an end with former President Donald Trump's term. 
As the Daily Wire reported previously, the downtown courthouse, which Trump protected with the age of special agents from Customs and Border Protection, is again a fortress after being attacked by protesters angry with the Biden administration for not ending illegal immigration deportations. So maybe it's just become clear to Ted Wheeler that they're not going to be his friends, right? They don't like him. They never will. What they want to do is just burn everything down and build up some sort of communist, what they think will be a communist utopia. They don't like him. They don't like Biden. They hate Biden. They hate Biden maybe even more than they hated Trump. They don't like borders, right? They don't like borders. They never will. They don't want anybody ever deported for any reason, and they never will. So what prompted the change in messaging? Well, well, I think that Ted Wheeler saw them as useful, so we tried to buddy up to them and suck up to them, which inevitably ended up with them just literally physically attacking him, right? It sounds like maybe the people of Portland have had just about enough. It's no longer politically useful to have all these lunatics running around because they can't say, you know, this is Trump's America anymore, can they? Now it's Biden's America. So anyway, it seems fairly obvious to me what uh, prompted the change in messaging. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.